So the PC era starts from 1980 to 1990. Then the web world started in web 1.0 is 1990 to 2000 and web 2.0 is 2000 to 2010 and web 3.0 2010 to 2020 and web 4.0 2020 to 2030 and web 5.0 2030 to 2040. In PC era, we do have desktops and file systems and file servers and uh, file transfer protocols. So then the actual web started and um, in web, the actual web is World Wide Web and the World Wide Web is a large collection of uh, interconnected documents and content, the contents like web pages, videos and audios and even images. So it is an information space where the documents and other web resources are identified by uniform resource locator and interlinked by hyperlinks and accessible via the internet. It is a center to the development of information is and is the primary tool billions of people use to interact on the internet. The web 1.0 we also call as information web so it is the first generation of web it allows us like only read the information from the web it has only limited interaction between the sites and web users so it is just simply an information portal where users passively receive the information without being given the opportunity to post reviews comments and feedback it is an era for uh, static websites and the representation of uh, static content, not the dynamic information. The next generation is Web 2.0 and the social web. So it is second generation of web, of web where the people have control over the data as read and write. It is it facilitates the interaction between the web users and sites so it allows users to interact more freely with each other it encourages participation collaboration and information sharing the content types like audios blogging calendars crm and e-learning websites and emails forums games knowledge base and multimedia portals and so on many so the main applications are like youtube and wikis and flickr facebook and so many Coming to third generation of web, so those we call as a semantic web, it is a third generation of web, it is open and intelligent with semantic web technologies, distributed data sources, natural language processing, machine learning, machine processing. So here the computers can interact information, like interpret the information like a humans and intelligently generate and distribute the useful content trailer made to the needs of users. It includes information, the web into databases and move towards making the content accessible by multiple non-browser application, the leverage of artificial intelligence and technologies. The technologies here like RDF, XML, URI, API, OAuth and OWL and many. So the next generation is the fourth generation intelligent web. It is a fourth generation of web here the intelligent we learn very intelligently it's kind of self-learning self-organization it connects all the devices in the real and virtual world in the real time the feature um, like web generations like web 5.0 this we call as a symbol symbiotic web so it is a fifth generation of web it is emotionally connection between web and human beings and computers so if you see now the web is emotionless it doesn't respond and it doesn't receive any of our feelings and emotions but in web 5.0 it it will it will identify our emotions and it responds according to that emotions 